how to deal with the loss of the girl that you love. You're probably going through a really hard time right now and things are probably really difficult. Uh, but here's my three tips, uh, three steps, three tips on how you can overcome it uh, in the shortest possible period. Now one, I think you have to acknowledge that it is over. You can't keep living in the past and hoping that she's going to come back. You can't keep thinking, oh, what can I say? What can I do to get her to come back to you? Whether it's your fault or not, there's a, it's rare that a woman is going to change her mind and come back to you, even though it is in her best interests just female nature it's just how they are they make mistakes they mess up and she probably doesn't realize how awesome you are and that's her fault not yours so in, but you need to acknowledge that that is what has happened and there's no going back you just need to acknowledge it you at least you just need to make sure that you acknowledge that that is something that has happened close off that chapter in your life uh, and acknowledge what what it what it really means. Two, you need to in under these circumstances focus on yourself. Now uh, you have you have to do two one of two things depending on whether you are an introvert or an extrovert. One is if you're an extrovert. You need to go out there and socialize a lot with a bunch of close friends of yours, make some new friends, get out there and uh, spend time with family, get, uh, spend time with friends, work colleagues, go make some new friends uh, and get out there and uh, spend a little bit more time uh, around people, especially if you're an extrovert. On the other hand, if you're an introvert, you need some time alone to get away from people. You need some peace. You need some, uh, you need to kind of get away from the friends. You need some time alone. Depending on whether you're an extrovert or an introvert or anywhere in the spectrum, you're gonna have to figure out what the balance is for you. Generally hanging out with people, even if you are an introvert, every now and then should help. Just so you got someone to uh, bounce your ideas off. That's two. And, and three, three is to just understand that this is going to take some time. Now, usually, I don't, I don't know where these uh, uh, these time frames come from, but usually, it can be around six months, depending on how how deep of a relationship it was or how long it was or how much you're in love it could take a year for you to uh, truly start to heal and feel better within yourself but uh, you have to give yourself some time and just realize that this is going to be a painful process that might take quite a lot of time and you might just have to wait it out unfortunately uh, and that's something that all of us need to go through but as long as you can acknowledge that it is over you get out there and you if you're an extrovert spend a lot of time with friends or if you're an introvert spend some time alone and three acknowledge that this is going to take some time and don't expect some sort of a quick fix. It's a month later, it's two months later, it's three months later. Why do you still feel sad? You're going to have to give it some time. So hopefully that's been helpful. Um, and I'll, you know, top link in the description or go to my website and uh, check out if you want to sign up and do some coaching. You can also reach out to me and uh, do some uh, a coaching call. It's not quite psychologist or counselling calls, but you can reach out and do a coaching call and uh, have a chat to me. If you're feeling that, that way inclined, you need to speak to someone, you don't have anyone to talk to, it's better to speak to someone. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.